this ordeal, it may be that we brought it upon ourselves. that a future exists, and being able to access it, are very different things. We did not understand such an obvious and natural principle yet. Indeed, we understood very little. We knew nothing about using the key to open the path to the future. Uh, Yukari-chan, it's me. Um, are you coming today? Oh, uh, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I left all the stuff at the dorm, so I don't have to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Oh, sorry. Break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Sonata-san said he's busy at the gym. So I doubt he'll be here in time either. Man, what's up with those two? The dorm's closing down today. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they'd want to see it off, right? It can't be helped. They just see things differently. Everyone started down their own chosen path. It's a good thing. You're right. I can hardly blame them. They seem to get busier and busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I might not have made it either. So we finally got to give up our evokers. I hate to let it go, but it's not like I got a use for it anymore. Let's see, two, four... Wait, how many are there supposed to be? I guess... I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? I'd forgotten. You had his for safekeeping. Hey, hey, come on. Don't get all gloomy again. I don't think that's the way he would have wanted to see this end. I'm sorry. You're right. We all said our goodbyes to him. But I still wonder, why did it happen? The doctors didn't find anything wrong with him afterward. It just seemed like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up all his power to protect us at that last battle. It's useless to try and guess at the reasons why. 
I am certain he didn't blame anybody for what happened. Yeah, Aichan's got that right. Hey, but I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, I guess. Back then, it was like he was all you could think about. I'm somewhat surprised as well. It's possible that I will not feel the full impact until I am alone tomorrow at the lab. Huh? The lab? Are you planning to commute to school from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess is returning herself to the lab tomorrow. She won't be enrolled as a senior. Seriously? Why? Can't she stay in school like before? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoyed being with you all, but I need to find my own way of life. Oh, but you can come visit me anytime. I guess... Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten on the wrong track, but today's not meant to be a sad occasion. I've ordered excellent sushi for us all. The same as before, actually. We may not have been able to get everyone together, but we should all have dinner here tonight. Oh, that, that would be great! You got that sushi again? Sweet! No objections here. You're gonna join us, right, I guess? Of course. I couldn't miss spending time with you all. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. However, surveys show that the number of people who report serious stress in everyday life has not decreased. According to research carried out by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, Oh, when did it get so late? It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we've spent the evening doing nothing. Sitting here like this reminds me of those days. Perhaps that's why. I think I can understand. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself spending time here for no reason. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I think about when we were still fighting. It's strange, since my memories of that time are more painful than happy. Well, all that stuff aside, doesn't something feel weird to you guys? I'll be walking around and people act like as long as they're happy right now, nothing else matters. Those stupid stories that Strega spread around are still out there, you know? It makes me think, is this what we almost died to protect? Are you saying people don't know how good they have it? <laughs> You're sounding like an old man. Hey, who asked you? That's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We prevented the fall, but we can't reform society. Yeah, I guess, but still. And that's the weather. At the tone, the time will be midnight. What was that? Midnight. It can't be. Is it the dark hour again? Nah, everything's fine out there. Wait, the news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here's a recap of the news from the 30th. The 31st was yesterday, right? Did the anchor misread the date? Hey, <sighs> is that all? Even they make mistakes every once in a while. It's nothing. Weird. My cell says it's the 31st, too. Well, looks like a false alarm.
so far I'd agree. But something felt... off. <sighs> it's late. We should call it a night. What a lame finish to our last day in the dorm. <sighs> Um, would it be all right if I returned to my room? I have to prepare to move tomorrow. Sure. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression, and began seeing the same dream, night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. That promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming. And I no longer required sleep. <sighs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Can I really continue living like this? Huh? A butterfly? Huh? What's going on? Agus, are you awake? Yes, I am. The door is open. Agus, we need you! Has something happened? It's not... another enemy, is it? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor opened up and... Uh, anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge! Understood. Come to think of it, the day my dreams stopped, 
That must have been when the incident actually began. Huh? What's this? Everyone! Keep your guard up, I guess. It doesn't seem human. A shadow? No, this is... It can't be. The same model as me? Your... I guess? Huh? Sorry I'm late. Is everyone okay? Yes, for now. I need you to provide backup for Igis. All right. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. That is why they will be eliminated. What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them! Then I have no choice. For your sake, I'll have to force you to back down. Much stronger than expected. I have no choice. Huh? Is this...? Is that... Orgeo mode? Hindrances will be removed. Tell me. I... What happened? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, a very rare guest indeed. Are you a simulacrum or in fact human? <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Um, 
Where am I? Who are you? Ah, oh, forgive my manners. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is Elizabeth, my assistant. We reside in this velvet room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mind and matter. A room for those who have forged a contract. Yes, in awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. From this moment forth, you are our guest in the Velvet Room. Wild card? Surely you know of which I speak. The ability to hold multiple personas and wield their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. You... know of him? Indeed I do. He achieved a marvelous thing. Reaching the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. This answer, if I reach it, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer, and they reach it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Well, I shouldn't keep you here any longer. The beginning of your ordeal awaits. <sighs> that feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please, take this. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. I once made a choice to live. So much has happened to me since that decision. If this power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is... death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Up. You really scared us, collapsing like that. Yukari-san. I came because Mitsuru-senpai called for me just in case. And I get caught up in this? Give me a break. I'm sorry to have worried you. What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. It still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. That strange girl said, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her.
Yo, looks like you've been through a lot. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. What do you gotta bust things up like that for? I mean, today's my turn to clean the place. Hey, quit with the silent treatment and say something. Huh? Are you serious? You were sleeping all this time? It opened. I, uh... You look pretty comfy there. I ain't afraid of no humans, huh? It's just, I was tired after going into Orgia mode. Oh. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. These restraints aren't necessary. I won't attack anymore. No one is going to believe you if you don't explain why. It's... It's because I thought you wouldn't like me. Hmm. Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of fighting us. Besides which, if she has the same parameters as I do, the chains will not hold her anyway. non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell me who you are and your purpose in being here. I'm Metis. As you can see, you and I are practically siblings. And as for my purpose, it's simply to save you, my only sister, from this hopeless situation. Hopeless situation? Did... something happen while I was asleep? How long was I asleep, anyway? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow, and all the days after it, will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it, the moment when time skipped? Skipped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then... Are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm since this morning. That makes two ways we're trapped here. No. But why? The abyss of time below us is causing a space-time distortion. Abyss... of time? It's difficult to explain. It may be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Hey, who elected you mayor? territory that probably spreads beneath this area like a tree's roots. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was a small thing. Then, without warning, it began to spread out and formed a connection to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place was not man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, the way Tartarus was. 
Jeez, haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff by now? I'm not sure I can explain it, but the flow of time here is not normal. The reason why time is skipping and why you can't leave the dorm is most certainly due to that effect. The only way to survive is to somehow find a way to eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest, most direct way. Eliminating all of you. The abyss of time connected to this dorm as if drawn to it. That, together with the way you can all perceive the time skips, it seems clear to me that you have a lot to do with the reason for this happening. So that's why you attacked? In order to eliminate us? What the hell? We, we've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, we can only find it by entering the abyss. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Igis. Wait, is this a joke? Are you seriously telling us to go back to the way things were when Tartarus was around? Never mind that. How are we supposed to believe whatever you say and jump in there blind? If you have a better plan, let's hear it. First, the basement of your dorm, then the time skips, and now you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food, are we going to starve to death? No! If the current situation continues, your lives may all be in danger. What I'm asking you to do is the only way for you all to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive. But you first appear to us as an enemy. You must understand that we can't entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? In it? I'm doing this because I care about her. For heaven's sake, she's my only sister. About that, your claim doesn't fit the facts. Igis was the last of her series, and none of her model were produced afterward. To hear you talk, it sounds like you've been in this abyss of time from the start. That bothers me. You said this is uncharted territory, unconnected to the outside world, am I correct? Aren't you supposed to be a weapon anyway? How do you square that with attacking us to save Igis? That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. Because if you're stringing us along, we're not gonna let you get away with it. D enough about me! What good is any of this supposed to do you? I thought I told you, there's no time to waste. Now follow me. Or are you going to give up so soon? Because if you are, you should have let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? It may be true that we have no choice but to enter here. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Without me? <laughs> you can't possibly... I know the most about the Abyss! You need me! And... Hey, you don't get to decide that. Fighting would put all of our lives at risk. If that's the way you think of my friends, I can't go with you. But... Ah, uh, too bad. Well, have fun here all alone, okay? Uh, all alone? Maybe we should finish her off now, so she can't backstab us. Well, we don't have to go that far. Sorry. I'm 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. Please don't leave me. <sighs> Come on, it's, it's too late to get all weepy. But maybe it's true that all she wants really is to protect Aigisan. Well, Senpai, do we take her along or not? Because <laughs> if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Listen to me, everyone. It seems that once again, we will have to investigate and there will be battle involved. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as leader, approve, I have no issue with Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san. If you wish to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Hurting my friends will not be tolerated. Do you promise? Yes! I promise! <laughs> this better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I really don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I became scared, and suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask him? For going back into combat, this clothing won't do. Well, you and me are still GeckoCon students until that magic degree comes in the mail. Sorry to trouble you, Yamagishi, but could you retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and the things we found when the floor opened up. I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess? I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I call you sister? Go right ahead. door it seems like we've reached the first goal this place was bigger than I thought how many more times we got to do this I don't know for sure but judging by the desert of doors I'm betting it's not going to be just once or twice Ugh, I was afraid you'd say that we're looking for the source of our troubles, so logically, it should be at the deepest level. Then all we can do is keep on going forward until the end. It's like Tartarus all over again. The two structures are very similar in some ways. Not only that, we've got the friggin' shadows wandering around. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to see another one of those. But hey, the Lost are all gone, so how come they're still around? Another question that needs an answer. Well, it's not like we can leave until we find out. <sighs> hmm?
What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just... After the hell we went through, we finally had some peace. I was determined to keep my eyes on the future and not look back. But now I'm being dragged back to the way things used to be. Yukari. Time doesn't flow normally here. It's no surprise you feel that way. You'll find there will be many opportunities to revisit your past here. What's that supposed to mean? This is... huh? Polonium Mall? But weren't we just inside... What's going on? Did we make it out somehow? I don't know. Something seems off. Isn't it kinda hot in here? You kids. Kurosawa-san. What are you doing out here on a weekday? Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, but it's spring break now. Spring break? That was a couple months ago. It's June now. What's with those two in costume back there? Is there some sort of event going on? No, it's, um... Well, I'll let it slide. I know you kids are a little different. But if you try to use that as an all-purpose excuse, I'll have to enforce the law. Don't forget. Jeez. All the dates displayed here say 2009. That calendar, too. Could the June he mentioned be... June of last year? That's impossible. Are you saying this is the past? Hey, Iga's sister! Hey, are you listening? Are the things here that interesting to you? No, uh, not at all. It's all everyday stuff, right? Uh, this is a fountain, and that over there is a store. It's true that I sometimes come here to gaze at the fountain. Uh, really? Then you feel the same? But there is something odd about being here. For all of us, not just you. Tell me, what is this place? We came here by passing through a door, remember? Doors like that are in several places throughout the abyss of time, and each one is connected to the past. Then, this really is last year? How else can you explain the different time and season? But it seems you can't go just anywhere in the past, only somewhere from your memories. This looks like a mall, but I don't think it's connected to any place else, either. The past? Oh, man. It's lucky we found this place. We'll be able to get supplies here. We should be able to use what we can get here until the abyss of time disappears. The reason why the door led us here may have something to do with you. The doors may reflect your inner thoughts. She's taking this pretty well. It's also bewildering to me.
Well, one thing's a relief. At least we won't starve. So it was that we learned why that place was named the Abyss of Time. A place where you can revisit days gone by. But thinking back on it, it wasn't only the astonishing nature of the place that surprised us. It may be that we all unconsciously saw a kind of salvation. this Wow I didn't think we'd emerge directly here instead of the desert of doors looks like this place is fully connected to the abyss of time now maybe it's because everyone was hoping to make frequent resupply trips this will certainly make it easier to go back and forth hello we're kind of blocked back here. No way! This is crazy! Hey, hurry it up! There's more of us blocked back here! Well, Sergeant? Eh, yeah, you can go. Looks like a pretty routine accident. Hey, kid, uh, <laughs> sorry I took so long. Says here your name's uh, Kanamata, is that right? Yeah, well, uh, you know, geez, sorry about what happened to your mom. But she gave her life to save you from the collapse. Huh. Anyway, I gotta take your statement, you yeah? know? You're a witness, after all. If I told you what happened, would you believe me? Yeah, of course I would, huh? Helping people out is our job. My mom was... murdered. What? Around midnight, I got up to use the bathroom, and I heard voices by the door. I looked and saw this teenager holding his head and yelling. Wait, you're saying he did it? But the whole house was crushed. There was this shining kind of horse monster, and it came right out of him. It roared, and my mom and my house were... Oh, a monster, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, there's no way that actually happened. Though, uh, I, I shouldn't laugh. I, I know, sometimes after a traumatic incident like this, people can... I'm not lying! And I really saw it! Look, it was an accident. Plain and simple. I, a drunk driver crashed his car into your house. What? A car crash? We've already found the car and what's left of the driver. We just need an account of the accident now. That's a lie! You're making that up! I know that's what you think, but, uh, it's true. Sergeant, can you come out here? It'd be right there. Wait! I really saw it! Look, I I'm sorry for your loss. I have to go, but, well, uh, hope things get better. You said you'd believe me. <laughs> huh? 
I can't trust any adults. So I'll find him myself. The door's gone, but the first door didn't disappear, it just opened up to a new place. Never mind that, that was... <laughs> that brings back memories. I thought of lots of ways to search for the culprit, but I couldn't manage any of them alone. I kept wondering why the culprit had special powers and I didn't. I wonder if that's what led me to start experiencing the dark hour since that day. Ken. My family must have been the ones who put the accident cover up in place. I'm sorry for that. Hey, Metis! What was that about? What was what about? Oh, I see. Apparently, events that not everyone was involved in can only be watched. That's something new. That's not what I meant. Why do we see such a painful memory? Huh? How would I know? It's your past. You better not be hiding anything. How would I benefit from that? I'm only speculating. But I think the door reflects the mind of those who enter it. It's the same reason we found a place to get supplies, and why we were able to return directly back. Right now, you wish to race the Abyss of Time as soon as possible, and make it out alive, right? If so, then although what's inside the doors seems unrelated to our situation, we see it for a reason. Maybe you should think hard about what the reason might be, instead of wasting time accusing me. <coughs> What did you say? It's all right. What she's saying might be true. Ken. Actually, I've been wondering about all of that lately. Things weren't perfect, but it seemed more straightforward and pure back then when I was fighting. We don't get that kind of passion by just going to school every day. Sonata-san, you've dedicated yourself to boxing again recently, right? Isn't that because you don't want to lose the feeling you used to have? Of course, that could just be my own way of seeing it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do feel just like I did. Let's not talk like that. There's no use bringing up the past. Don't you remember our entire reason for risking everything? If we don't keep our eyes forward, it was all a waste of time. Yukari. Let's go. Hold on a sec. You're the captain, aren't you? Uh, quit pushing. Practice time's over. Hey, you. Sonata-kun, right? That's right. That was an amazing bout. I've never seen a junior high fighter deliver a KO like that. I'm with the school you were up against in the finals. What do you say about enrolling with us? We'll give you a fat scholarship. You'd only have to pay half your tuition. Hey, you're from another school? That's against the rules, and you know it! Sorry, but I don't see any reason to join a school that places second. Get out of here. <laughs> Akihiko-kun is so cool! <laughs> you hear that? He'd never go to your loser school. Come on already, go home! 
damn it, we can't leave until you guys do. <laughs> Couldn't you have handled that a little more politely? I heard it gets crowded after practice, so I waited here instead. Third year, Class C, Akihiko Sonata. What do you want? Aren't you going to ask who I am? No need. Whatever you've come for, I don't want to get involved. All I want is to train and get stronger. It's nothing troublesome. I have a very simple request. A request? I have enemies that need defeating. They're not people, I assure you. You wouldn't be bound by the rules of boxing. No. The enemies I speak of? They're related to what you've recently been experiencing each midnight. <laughs> you see, I'm in the same situation. I experience the same thing you do. The difference is, I know what it means. If you come with me, I'll share what I know with you. Who are you? Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm a third year, like yourself. Kirijo? I've heard that name before. You said you wanted to build your strength. What you really need is a riskier challenge. And with this, you can challenge them. Hmm. The door vanished this time, too. First Ken's passed, and now mine. What in the world does it mean? I have no idea, either. That really brought me back, though. We were both in junior high then. And to tell the truth, I thought that girl was crazy until I first summoned my persona. What was I supposed to expect when you gave me what looked like a gun five minutes after meeting me? All part of the plan. That was the best way I could think of to get your attention. If I'd asked you to do something like fight for justice, I knew you'd never listen. <laughs> you can say that again. So that was a school. Yes, it was. But it was only a small portion of a school. Really? Then it's actually much bigger than that? Yes. Have you really never been outside before? Well, uh, that's... I didn't mean to embarrass you. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Thinking back on it, they kept me from leaving the dorm at first, too. Do you also go to school, sister? I did. But after this spring, I won't be going anymore. Huh? How come? All your friends go. They are your friends, right? You like to be around them, don't you? Why? It's because I... Um... Well, I thought it over, and it was my own decision. Oh, I see. You know, I don't think Metis is a bad person at all. No, not really bad. More like... We've been taking her so seriously up till now, but... She's just a kid inside, isn't she? <laughs> Maybe so.
Stupid old man. How low do you have to be to get drunk on cooking wine? But I guess it's just as pathetic to rush out like this every day. <sighs> man, what am I gonna do? I got nowhere to go. Yo, sup, Pooch? Here to join my nowhere to go after school club? <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. I don't have any food for you. You know, haven't I seen you around here before? Hey, it's Junpei. Huh? Oh, hey, guys. Why the long face? Are you that sad that we're in different homerooms now? Still dumb as rocks, huh? Wait, isn't it way past your dorm curfew? What are you guys doing out so late? Ah, uh, we snuck out. When you get to be a junior, you learn the secret exit. Hey, we're going to Escapade. Want to come with? We're helping this guy drown his sorrows over a girl. That's not true. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. That's what you get for going after someone like Yukari Takeba. Although I never expected her to hook up with a new transfer student. I guess she goes for that kind of dark side of his. Dark? He seems like a regular dude to me. Oh, I'm serious. That transfer kid? Rumor has it both his parents died when he was little. Someone got a peek at his file when Toriyumi left it lying around. Man, you're so gullible. That stuff only happens in soap operas. Hey, I said it was a rumor. Come on, let's get going. You snooze, no booze. Booze? Uh, uh I think I'm gonna pass. Huh? What's the matter? Come on, why don't you live a little? I said I'm gonna pass. I just I ain't in the mood. Well, man, looks like I'm the only one you got to console you. They keep telling you nothing happened. <laughs> they offered to hang out and I turned them down. Things never go the way I want them to. My life really as bad as it seems now. I wish there was, like, something I could do to change the world. Like some awesome skill that no one else has. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm sure someday we can make some real friends that'll listen to us. All the scenes in my past, and you guys had to see that one. Junpei. Dude, I know. I was surprised to see you too. So, you were the dog from that day. Makes it seem kind of like destiny. Looking back, that was the day Akihiko-san found me. The only place I could go from there was the convenience store. And that's where I was when the dark hour hit. You were bawling in the dark with that awful expression. Honestly, you looked worse than the shadows. Well, what was I supposed to do? That was the scariest damn moment of my life, man. <laughs> but you know... I had other stuff to deal with, like my old man. So staying at the dorm and fighting shadows and all that stuff looked pretty good. I see. Unlike me and my sister, other people usually have reasons to awaken. I comprehend. I had my reasons as well. However, in my case, it happened in reverse. 
I had the power first, and gained a reason later. Now that I mention it, you're... Hmm. I think I'm starting to get it. There is a reason we see what we see inside the doors. Doors that have delivered on that reason disappear, and those with roles still to play remain. A reason? What kind of reason? I can't say for sure, but if we keep moving forward, I think we'll start seeing it. <laughs> Let's do our best, sister. You... You're right. Until then, it hadn't even occurred to me to wonder about it. She's so full of emotion. Nothing like me when I woke up in July. But she'd never had any chance to come into contact with others. Was there a moment when she discovered her emotions, as I did? The seed of my curiosity was planted as I began to wonder. So this is the interior of Tartarus. It's only the second time anyone's been here without special equipment. Normal weaponry is useless against shadows. Any equipment we brought would be for your peace of mind. Everyone here has had their potential developed in our labs. That should suffice to protect us. And even if you're devoured, that in itself would be valuable data for us. <laughs> Is anyone left in the Ergo Division who isn't a psycho? In any case, sir, are you all right with this? I mean, bringing your daughter? I don't mind at all. I myself requested to come along. You heard her. I see. I'm sorry to have spoken out of turn, sir. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? <laughs> Looks like it's back to the drawing board for the artificial development of potential. Sir, miss, step aside. That's a shadow. You little... <laughs> Sir, miss! Gah. Father... Oh, did you see that? Such power! It's a persona. I was right. Persona users do exist. Mitsuru. Father, I'm glad you're safe. That was wonderful. Lady Mitsuru, a beautiful expression of your natural potential. At last, our future seems bright. Why are you so happy about it? Now, Mitsuru can never escape from the destiny of atonement. She'll spend her life bound to our cursed legacy when she should be finding her own way. What's so bright about that? Don't worry, Father. I chose this for myself. 
I'll protect you, father. Mitsuru. Was that Senpai's? Hmm? Oh, yes. Senpai? What's the matter? Uh, well, I'm sorry. It's just that seeing father before my eyes, as if he were still alive, was... Senpai. Uh, but wasn't Mitsuru Senpai really cute when she was little? Excuse me, Yori. Are you saying that's no longer the case? Uh, no. That's, that's not what I... Come on, you got it all wrong. It's exactly as I thought. Of the past events we've seen up to this point, the first one seemed to be about getting ready for battle, but the others... How should I put it? It feels like there's some aspect they all have in common. Don't you all think so? Yes, but for now, we don't know what that might be. This is the fifth door. We should be getting closer to the source we're looking for. Oh, I just remembered. There's something I have to tell you all. Remember the machinery and documents Mitsuru Senpai found? I looked into them, and it turns out they were things that the chairman hid when he was still alive. Most of them were from the accident ten years ago, so he must have hid them so they wouldn't be destroyed. Some of the notes I found seemed to be talking about the Abyss of Time. Is that true? We may be close to discovering what this place really is. We're closing in on it. We should hurry forward. All students in the dormitory. The cafeteria will be closing in 30 minutes. Oh, crap. Forget it. Oh, there you are, Yukari. We went to your room to look for you. Oh, sorry. I don't think I can make it today. It'll be crowded anyway. Hey, is that your stuff? Have you even been to your room since we got back? Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't believe this. You mean you've been spaced out for hours? Are you sure you're feeling okay? Oh, no, it's nothing, really. It's just... How should I put it? It's hard to believe it's already been four years since I got here. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. It sucks that we have to be cooped up in this dorm for three years. We should be out and having fun. This year's almost over, too. At this rate, high school will be over in a flash. Well, let's not set our sights too high. We've just got to get through this. Things went by so fast. I knew I wouldn't find out anything about Dad just by going to class. I mean, not even the police or the media have found anything new. It's already been ten years. <sighs> Wonder if I should just give up. Ah, Takeba-san! You are Takeba-san, the freshman, right? Oh. Yeah, that's me. 
I'm glad you're here. There's a letter for you. I'm very sorry about this. It actually came in yesterday. But there were so many transfer stamps that I couldn't tell who it was for. What? It's from an Eiichiro Takeba. Is he a relative? But... Uh, that can't be. Commemorating the opening of the Moonlight Bridge... Ten years ago? Um, Takeba-san, wait! I need your signature here! And you forgot your things! These are your things, aren't they? Takeba-san? You were all alone, trying to fight the Kirijo group's deception by yourself for so long. It's not like that. If we're being forced to look into our pasts, it would have been nice if you could have seen your father. I would have liked to meet him. It's not that big a deal. Now's not the time to go over the past. I'm tired of dealing with shadows. We should hurry and finish this. <sighs> Yukari, aren't you pushing yourself a little too hard? <sighs> you know how Igis has... his power? She might not realize it, but... that's gotta mean she inherited something from him. I'm anxious to get my own sign that I'm actually moving forward. I made a promise with him, too. Yukari... Now that I've seen my past event, I know for sure. The idea we had about there being something in common between all the memories we've seen. So that means, on that day we saw, did you... Kenkun's story, Akihiko Senpai's story, Junpei's and Koromaru's too. Mitsuru Senpai's is the one that makes it the most obvious. Huh? I, I'm not following you here. What we've seen is each of our reasons for awakening to our persona. It fits. Fuka awakened in front of everyone, and Igis and Metis could use it from the beginning. So there's no need to see their memories. That would make the most sense. But even if that's so, why would we be seeing that here? Is it telling us to step back and examine our origins? I guess, son, what do you think? I... Well... Yo! I guess sister! Don't act like this doesn't involve you. Let's hear what you think. Why? I can't talk about the past with you all. I don't know anything about it. What's the matter? Nothing. I meant just what I said. You said you wouldn't leave me behind. But I don't know anything about your past, so... I'm always lost during these conversations. Ah, I get it. You're lonely. See? You're a kid after all. <laughs> now I get why you got all well-behaved when we said we'd leave you behind. I'm not a kid. You may not know anything about us, but we don't know anything about you either. You must have special memories known only to you. Like the memory of when you discovered your emotions. Isn't it time you told us who you are? Memories? But I don't... Oh, it closed. Sheesh. Metis, I think you misunderstand. Not all of our pasts were glamorous. To be honest, there were more painful memories than pleasant ones. That's clearly not true. 
all the things you laugh and talk about are from your past. <sighs> she doesn't mince words, which forced us to another realization. I felt, for the very first time, that the reason time stopped may in fact have something to do with us. Is this the deepest part of the abyss of time? You think? It's no different than the rest of the ones we've seen. But that fits logically, which means the abyss's origin, the reason for the time skips, is here. Oh, there's something I had to tell you all. It was in the papers about the abyss of time I mentioned before. Did you find something? If the report is correct, this place came into existence as a reaction to the creation of Tartarus. A reaction? The gigantic tower rising so high left a gigantic hole in its place. That's the abyss. Does that mean they've known about this place for ten years? They decided it would be harmless if left alone, since it would probably disappear with Tartarus. But it also said that since the Abyss is just a byproduct, there should be no shadows in it. Wait a sec. There's a friggin' ton of shadows here. And if it was supposed to go poof along with Tartarus, why are we standing in it now? <laughs> Did they forget a decimal place or something? No. Their logic makes sense. What was supposed to vanish is still here because of some force. One side's removal caused an imbalance. What could that force be? Who knows? Maybe it's somewhere down here. One thing's certain, though. It's deeply connected to all of you. What's up with that? What the hell did we do to deserve this? Well, there's another door. If that's here, then maybe... What's going on? Is that the big reason behind all this? If we leave out Igus, Metis, and me, whose past is left? Hey, yeah. Who else was there that had powers like ours? Who cares? There's no use speculating with it staring us in the face. We'll know once we open it. Whatever that reason is, it's strong enough to keep the abyss of time from disappearing. And we've come to erase that reason. We could be in for a battle. We should be very prepared before entering. She's right. This appears to be our goal. Don't worry, we can do this. Wait! Please, wait! No! Don't go! I promised to protect you. I dedicated my life to that purpose, but I 
can't fulfill that purpose anymore. There's nothing more I can do. Can I continue to live this way? Does my life have a meaning? <sighs> So, I wish I could return to being a mere machine. Huh? That's the cause? Don't look at me. But, well, I didn't expect that we get to see him again, although he did have his back turned. Indeed. What's it mean? That looked like it was Icus's memory. What kind of a clue is that? I guess didn't have to awaken to her persona abilities, right? No, she did. She awakened to the special power he had. I guess what was that? When did it happen? <sighs> I always woke up to that. It was so painful to lose him. I withdrew into my room, unable to do anything. For a while, I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. I guess. Sister. But after a while, I stopped dreaming entirely. It felt like a weight on my chest lightened and fell off. That must have been the last of the dreams I had. But I don't see what that has to do with my awakening. Sister, are you still in pain? The person we saw, he's the one who had the same kind of power as you, isn't he? <sighs> so that's the big cause of all this? That didn't explain anything. Don't you get it? What we saw was only my sister's memory. But all of you want to see him again, right? Then the answer is obvious. What's that supposed to mean? What I said at the start was right all along. The fastest way to solve this would be to eliminate all of you. So, that means that figure we keep seeing is... Wait, something's wrong. What the? Just as I thought. It's coming. The monster that's taken the shape of your regrets. Can't be. This is the reason for everything. From the abyss of time's failure to disappear to the presence of shadows. This was born from all of you.
did it. That was the monster born from us? But it was... Yes, its powers and form were familiar, but it was a shadow. You are correct. Wait, but that makes no sense. Persona users are supposed to beat shadows, right? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've been fighting them this whole time without knowing. Personas and shadows are the same thing. That's why you're able to fight them in the first place. Did you all think that shadows were mysterious invaders or something? Shadows are the lower parts of the psyche everyone has. Suppressed human thoughts given physical form. When people are unable to face their darker selves, they break loose, free from all control. But sometimes, humans with special awareness contain their shadows. Those are Persona users. So Personas and Shadows, they're the same thing, just different names? If someone was able to create my sister and myself, wouldn't he have had to understand this? All those people lost their lives. <sighs> then, the reason for all this is our personas? The shadow's power affects time and even space. Through your personas, your unspoken desires were manifested. You can't stand to see time move on. You don't want to accept your loss of someone precious. It was by each of your wishes that time stopped moving forward. And as a result, you became trapped here. So we trapped ourselves? Huh. It's almost funny. Whatever the reason was, we beat that thing. We won. That should solve all this, right? Yes, that is correct. If we return to the dorm, we may be able to go outside. Whoa, what's this? When did I... Is this... a key? You should be able to leave using those keys. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. Finally. Jeez, I'm glad this didn't end up taking another year. But these keys, there's eight of them. That's because each of you played a part in bringing this about. The door probably won't open unless all eight are used at once. Strength of heart when united is barred by no door. Those words... So it'll open if we're all around, is that right? <laughs> then let's get the hell out of here! Uh, so are we just gonna waltz out through the front door? That door? Or another one? There's still one closed door that doesn't connect to the outside world. The main entrance, or that door. It's one or the other. A door that doesn't connect to the outside world. Are you talking about the door to his room? I just assumed someone had locked it. That door has the same feel as the doors to the past we've been going through up to now. What do you mean by one or the other? If we open it, won't it just connect to another past? That's right. If you go through the entrance, you'll return to the present, but that door leads to the past. The past? The world of the past. You've all been there many times now, but this time, the abyss will disappear once you go through the door. You'll be in the true past. Is that true? <sighs> Why would I lie about something like this? 
If you don't believe me, then why don't you try leaving through the entrance? To accept the past or to revisit it. You're saying that in the end, we have to choose. What do you want to do? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. That way, I'll finally be able to save you from this cursed fate. To be honest, that's all I care about. Cursed fate? Uh, which one are you going to choose, sister? I... <sighs> uh, hey, why don't we go back to the dorm first? This is way too heavy to decide right here. I agree. What the? What are all these cracks? This is bad. It's becoming unstable. It should last a little longer, but we don't have much time. If the fault extends to the door, we may not be able to leave even with the keys. <laughs> it's just one thing after another, isn't it? So, uh, what's the plan? I mean, no one's seriously thinking about going back to the past, right? <sighs> Um, I've been thinking, why do you think he died? They never figured out the cause of death at the hospital, right? Well, that's... Personally, I still think it's because he used all his power to accomplish that miracle. In other words, we were saved because he gave up his life. He gave everything for us. So it doesn't seem right to undo all his work on our own. Ken Kuhn. I'm with Ken. We've all seen what kind of resolve it takes to face death. That resolve, and what it brought about. There's no way we can cancel that out on our own whims. Even if it hurts, we have to deal with it and accept the present. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? I mean, you say it all the time. You gotta look forward. I... I wanna go back. To the time before the last battle. When I thought about how he protected us, I kept telling myself that I have to keep looking forward. That's why I started going to cram school and spending less time goofing off. But, I can't lie to myself. If there's a way for him to come back, I'll take it, no matter what. Yukari. So, you're giving up? Are you saying you don't have the strength to face reality? After all the things we've gone through, you're just gonna throw in the towel in the fight against yourself? Oh yeah! You're really one to be throwing around all those high-minded ideals. If you really thought something was that precious to you, you'd want to protect it no matter what. Don't you understand? We can go back and fix things. Are you seriously just gonna let a chance like this go? Then I'll ask you this. If I said I wanted to undo your father's death, would you do it? Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Nothing in the past was a waste. You're just making excuses. <laughs> hey, you keep mentioning death. Are you saying the person who saved you all didn't just leave? That's correct. He passed away. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Why? But you've never met him. 
Anyway, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. I get second thoughts when I think about going back to when Chidori died. But I definitely see what Akihiko Senpai is trying to say. When you get down to it, though, I, I hate to say this, but I'm just too scared to do that battle over. What's wrong with you? Are you saying you're scared to die, but it's okay if he does? That's not what I said. I mean, have you really thought this through? Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? It's the same thing. Either way, all it means is that you're just scared. And you two are no better. All that talk about accepting the present is because when you get down to it, you only care about yourselves. What? How can you say that? There's no use going around and around like this. We're never going to reach an agreement. So if no one gives in, we'll have to settle this another way. Another way? <gasps> Yukari-chan, you don't mean... Taking the keys by force. That'll work too, right? It's true that the eight keys will merge if they're brought together, even against their holder's wishes. But if it comes to a fight, I'll protect my sister with everything I have. These keys represent each of your strength of heart. If you take my sisters, she may lose her life. What do you mean? You're only thinking of what's best for you. The person with my sister's power died of unknown causes, didn't he? Did any of you ever stop to think that maybe the same thing could happen to her? I came to protect her. But I... I won't make another mistake. I'll do whatever it takes to save her. Metis. Aikasan, which door are you thinking about unlocking? I... I can't decide right now which is more important. Past or the present. You're just gonna run away? Again? Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lose to someone like you. Yukari-chan, are you really going to fight? This decision hinges upon someone precious to us all. Our differences can't be settled with a compromise. No matter what Igis decides, we have no choice but to fight. And I've made my decision as well. I'm going to stand with Yukari. Senpai... You're taking her side? Are you serious? <sighs> I know you well enough to tell your mind's made up. All right. Everyone! It's decided then. Follow me. I'll lead you to a place suitable for battle. If we fight there, no one can appeal the result. Hey!
They're fine. They've gone their separate ways, and they're waiting in different areas. You see the big door up ahead? There's an arena past that door. You'll be fighting them there. Your only goal is to collect the keys, so there's no need to take their lives as well. But this is a real battle, and there will be consequences if they lose. <sighs> Sister? Are you listening? Is there no way to avoid this? Not as long as you have a key and they're after it. But you promised me at the start that you wouldn't hurt my friends. I haven't forgotten, but this involves your life. I'll protect you, no matter what happens. I'll protect my sister. This is actually where I awakened. I wondered why this place existed. But now, I feel like this is what I was meant to do all along. I can't explain why. This... This is where you awakened? I gotta admit, this is a pretty appropriate place to settle stuff like this. <sighs> I was hoping to go up against Mitsuru's team first, but oh well. I guess Akihiko Senpai. Fukasan. Do you object to her acting as the mediator and backing up both sides? <laughs> No! You can't make a decision like that without me! Helping both sides, encouraging my friends to fight each other? I won't do such a thing! But with your ability... There's no need to worry about us when we're about to go at it. If you can't choose, side with Igis. Her life could be at risk, right? So it's only fair that she gets a handicap with you. Akihiko-senpai. Let's get this over with. Aigasan, have you decided what you'll do if you get all the keys? I... I can't fight against... Sorry, but if you haven't made up your mind by now, I can't let you have our keys. Akihiko san! Hamada san! What's happening? I told you before if they lose, there will be consequences. They haven't died, but. They won't return to their original forms until the true key is forged. You can no longer avoid fighting. No. You knew this would happen. Is that why you brought us here? What were you thinking? It's because this must be my purpose here. If the fires burn out, they won't be able to return to normal even if the key is forged. We need to hurry, sister.
Don't call me sister anymore. Do you... hate me now? I'll still fulfill my promise. No matter what, I will protect you, sister. up. Junpei-kun, Koro-chan. Well, I guess I can see what's going on. No matter who our opponent is, I won't let them have my sister's... Uh, I guess is key. <laughs> I know, I know. It's cool. But you know, no matter which way this turns out, I just don't think Igus can win against Yucatan right now. Sorry. Then again, I don't think Yucatan's got it right either. Even if we go back to before the final battle, if we're still squabbling like this. I don't know, do you really see us being able to pull off a miracle and do things better than he could? Me, I think this is something we gotta take care of on our own. Junpei-kun. I'm not as much of a hard ass as Akihiko-san, but I don't think we should mess with the past. Still, some things you just can't work out by talking about them. If neither side will give an inch, well, sometimes that's how things are gonna be. Right, little sis? Junpei-san. Alrighty then. Let's get it on. You better not throw this fight! Junpei-kun, Koro-chan. All of us, we were searching for the same thing. Our bonds were so strong, and yet... The next battle will be the last one. If we win, there will be no one left who can take your key. Is this... right? I can't stand it any longer. This is wrong. I can't accept either meddling with the past or proceeding blindly in the present. It scares me too, to think about dying. But does that justify hurting the ones who are precious to you? Uh, uh. If this has to continue, I'm not going to be part of it. I'll end all this by giving my key to Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san. No! You can't do that or you'll... We don't know for sure whether or not that will happen. And I won't accept your input on this. It's my decision. Wait! Don't go! I... had a premonition. I wasn't hiding who I am. I really don't know anything about myself. About a month ago, I woke up here, all alone. You asked me about when I discovered my emotions, but I don't have any memories. I only knew two things when I woke up. First, that I had a sister somewhere in the world who understood me. And second, a strong premonition that if I didn't do something, that sister would die soon. At first I thought it would happen because of the abyss of time. But that wasn't it. I understand now. The power you've gained comes at the cost of your death. The cost of my death. The answer to life. I went to see you 
so I could save you. But I ended up causing the power to awaken. That's why I made up my mind. I'd do anything to protect you. Even... Even if it meant you'd hate me for it. You're all I have in the world. Metis. There was a time when I felt the same way about someone. But I still can't hurt the people who gave me my heart. Even if the end result of this power is death. I don't want you to die! <sighs> if you're not gonna give in, you still don't need to throw your life away. If you end up losing your key, I'll give you my life. I don't want you to die and leave me behind. I'd rather give my life and be alone. That way, I can always stay with you. What are you saying? Please don't leave me behind! <laughs> Metis. Okay. I'm sorry. I won't leave you. <laughs> I thought I knew all too well the pain of being left behind. You show me so many things that I'd let myself forget. I guess. Because our bonds are so strong. There's no solution to this where no one gets hurt. There's no easy way out. If I gave up without making a decision, I'd be running away from the pain my friends must still face. I think... I was running away from life again. I need to make a choice. I care about him as much as anyone else. Fuka-san. There's something I want you to hear. Huh? You too, Metis. I guess. It's strange. I kind of want to say, long time no see to you guys. Yukari-chan. You know, I had a feeling a while back that something like this might happen. There are four lit flames. This battle will determine which side gains the true key. Well, have you made your choice? Tell me that you didn't defeat the others without a clear objective. Yes, I've made my decision. I know what I want to do. There was something crucial that I hadn't known, but my sister revealed it to me. To care about someone dear to you. To strengthen the bonds of friendship. That doesn't necessarily mean that the pain of living will stop. Sister... If something's precious, you don't want to lose it. If someone's dear, it's painful to part with them. Loss can hurt, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, too, have something important. That's why I'm willing to fight you two now. I guess. <laughs> you sound like you're back to your usual self again. You know, I have to say, you've been a little out of it lately. It was kind of disappointing, because you were acting all mechanical like when you first got to the dorm. But now, I'd say you've got more life in you than ever. 
Yukari-san. All the same, I can't give in either. I'm not gonna lose this battle, no matter what. Take mine too, I guess. I agree with you the most, so... Everyone! It may sound strange to hear, but I'm so glad that you're all safe. So, what are you gonna do with that key? That was a nice speech back there, but you still haven't made a real decision, huh? Then give it to me! <laughs> give me that key! Yukari-chan! It's no use. Only my sister can use the true key now. I want to see him! <gasps> I made a promise to him, too. I promised that I'd try my best to change this world so that people would stop wishing for the fall. It wasn't like yours. It was something I promised myself while holding his cold hand. That's why I decided to put the past behind me and look forward. yukari son. But I can't. I can't be that person. I want to see him. I don't care about anything else. I just want to see him again. Yukari-san. Yukari, there's no way to truly put the past behind you. In the end, you only succeed in running from it. It's painful to face, but if you don't, your wounds will never heal. <laughs> So if I keep facing it, someday everything will be okay. Eventually I'll forget all about him, or stop caring. Like that's ever gonna happen. No one knows that better than us. <sighs> You're right. But can't we be there for you when things are at their worst? The way you were there for me last year. Huh? That may not have been what you meant at the time. But even now, I consider your being at my side last year as one of the most cherished moments of my life. That's why, when we lost him without being able to thank him, I swore deep down, if something ever happened to make you suffer, I'd put my own feelings aside and stand with you. Senpai. Yukari, to lose someone you had such a strong bond with is agony. But there's no need to suffer alone. You have us with you. Isn't that the whole point of forming such bonds? Oh, 
sorry, son. I understand your feelings. Ever since I was born, I have spent all my time thinking about him. So, I suggest we see it. To find out once and for all what he left for us. We still don't know the real reason behind his death. Without knowing that reason, I can't decide what is right. That's why I would like to see the past again, before using this key. To see the truth of what happened, the moment he used his power. Huh? Can we really do that? I don't see why not. We've already experienced the past here many times. You mean those doors that lead to the past? But they all disappeared. There aren't any left. The only way back to the past is the door to his room. And we know we don't want to use the key on that. No. There's one more door. That's right. The door that leads to Polonia Mall. The doors reflect the minds of those who enter them. If our wish is strong enough, we should be able to use that door to look into the past. I see. Good thinking. How about it, everyone? Sounds like it's worth a try. What's wrong? I was just thinking, there's nothing left for me to do. And I'm sure none of you would want me along. I did some horrible things to you. Dude, what are you talking about? We all got ourselves into this mess. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. Don't you remember? I told you that I wouldn't leave you behind. Jeez, if you'd been like that from the start, things would have been a lot smoother. Still, we're pretty lucky there's one door left. It's a real lifesaver, huh? Now that you mention it, that is strange. Once a door's purpose has been fulfilled, it disappears. If that door's purpose is to prepare for battle, it should have vanished once the battles were over. Our fight afterward was just bickering between ourselves. There's only one logical conclusion. If that door's role is to allow us to prepare for battle, and it hasn't yet disappeared, doesn't it follow? that there's still an enemy left to defeat. Our feelings are the reason for all of this, and what Igis proposed relates directly to the core of our pain. We should probably expect to encounter something unknown. Then... what now? Should we find another plan? If what Mitsuru Senpai says is true, we have to go, right? Let's go. What is this? This was never here before. I see the ordeal awaiting us was no mere speculation. We should come back here once we've prepared for battle. 
<laughs> Fine with me. No matter what the truth is, we'll finally get to see it with our own eyes. This place, this feeling, this is where the last battle was. Hey, I can move. I said before, if it's a past that everyone experienced, then you can actually interact with it. The same as that shopping mall. Wait, everyone? But you weren't here for this. Probably because I... Nix. And that must be... What... what is this? This is his life essence. As you can see, this is what happened. He himself became the Great Seal. But relinquishing one's life essence means death for a human. He must have already found it. His own answer to life. The answer to life. I don't think he has any regrets. 
He managed to keep his promise to you all before his consciousness faded away. His promise? You mean to meet up on graduation day? Wait a sec. How do you know about that promise? How? <laughs> I just know. I'm probably just like Nyx and the seal this person became. Something that belongs on this side. Nick's awakening means the destruction of everything. But think about it. If she's that powerful, how was she contained before he became the seal? Well, someone else must have. What about before humans ever existed? What are you getting at? As I understand it, Nyx is neither hostile nor malevolent. A seal really isn't necessary. What? Are you saying he did all this for no reason? Not at all. What he was really trying to accomplish was... Whoa! What the...? Everyone, look! real purpose. It wasn't to hold back Nyx. It was a seal so that it couldn't be touched. What do you mean? That monster isn't a shadow. It's the accumulated malice that came from the hearts of countless living people. All of them, deep down, are calling Nyx. That can't be. Last December, I, too, wish to learn death. It's probably true that people in town are wishing to touch it somewhere in their hearts. There is only one thing that differentiates life from stillness. It's that we die. That's all there is. I think I understand. When your life loses its meaning, the fact of death can be kind of comforting. That lurking malice we're unaware of is strong enough to give birth to such a huge monster. And maybe, that's just how it is these days. What's it doing?! Is it after us? Uh, it wants my sister. She has the same power as the one who created the seal. Don't tell me you're going to fight that thing. It's impossible. It's just too big. This is a battle we can't run from. The feelings that gave birth to this abomination were inside me as well. Because I couldn't accept reality. I foolishly sought solace in a past filled with death and strife. There's no mistaking it. This monster is the reason for all our troubles. You got that right. If we run away from this, we're off to a lousy start for our future. That's what I think, too. This was already a battle against myself. I won't let myself run this time. He's watching us, and I won't let him down. Sucks to be you, big guy. Cause we ain't gonna lose. Let's do this! Sister? Don't worry. This thing can't stop us. To go on living is to not give in to your own weakness. Let's win this for a new beginning tomorrow.
How do you like them apples? We already saved the world once. This was just our encore. Wow. We really won. See? I told you. But will it be enough? For that monster to truly disappear, everyone's feelings must change. To stop the heart's yearning for destruction, it's a formidable task. People try to keep death at bay, but without it, they lose sight of life. It may be that there's no way to fully eliminate this monster. No. I'm sure we can do it. I guess... We can all change someday. As long as we're alive, it can happen. After all, even I was able to do it. You got that right. If we want the world to change, we have to believe it'll happen. People aren't that hopeless. We should know that already. Hey, I guess... Um, I need to apologize to you. I said some really horrible things. I think it really bothered me, the way you received the same power that he had. All I could think was, why wasn't it me? <laughs> it was jealousy, plain and simple. Kari's son. But really, it wasn't because you were the chosen one or anything. It was because of the way you felt. <laughs> you really never do stop thinking about him. We all wanted to protect him, but out of all of us, you must have felt the strongest. If there wasn't a seal, the world would soon yearn for Nyx again. That's why he's here. For us. Even if we went back to before the last battle, the world wouldn't be saved unless he did the same thing. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see it before. If there was an easier way, he would have taken it. Yukari. It's still sad, but if I think of him as protecting us forever, it helps a lot. Me too. I feel like I can breathe easier now that I know what really happened to him. Yeah, now that we know the truth, I feel like the blinders have been removed. All we could do before was see him go. But now, I finally feel like we've gotten closer to him. I guess... Let's use that key and go back. To our time. I'm ready to start the morning of April 1st. Of course. Well then, I guess if you would. Right. Um... There's something I have to say, but I'm not sure how to put it. I'm really happy to have known all of you. A lot's happened in the past few days. But over time, it'll make our friendship stronger, you know? But hey, don't say it like that. It sounds like you're saying your goodbyes. <laughs> you're right. I see. Friendship. What gives you life? What makes you realize you're alive? If it isn't just death, if there's something else, it could be... Friendship. Is this the answer to life I'm supposed to find? King 
congratulations, sister. Where am I? Huh? What is this place? Hey, wait a second. What's going on here? This isn't the front of the dorm. Congratulations, sister. Where am I? Huh? What is this place? Hey, wait a second. What's going on here? This isn't the front of the dorm. Everyone, what's going on? There is no need to worry. I only summoned you here that we might say our farewells. I am rather surprised, though. I did not expect your friends to follow you here. It seems the power of the wild card within you has influenced them as well. Huh? I guess you know them? This is where those who are about to awaken to their power receive guidance. My sister and your friend were guests here. Wait, how come you're standing there smiling like you know it all? Don't you remember what I said before? My place is here, on the other side. The abyss of time will soon disappear. Time will flow again, and you will return to your daily lives. Congratulations, sister, and the rest of you as well. Metis. Sister, you said before that you promised to protect him. If you've truly come to appreciate your ties to others, I think you can still keep that promise. What? Someday, when more people come to realize that, the world will stop yearning for Nyx, and that monster will be vanquished. For that day to come, your every action will be important. Isn't that another way of protecting your friend? I... can still keep my promise? Metis, who are you really? Won't you tell us? I think... she's the other me. I couldn't bear the pain of losing him, so I wished to be a mere machine again. You must be... the part of myself I wished away. My lonely sister, always afraid of being left alone. You came to help me acknowledge and confront the pain of living. I finally understand. I only wish I had realized it much sooner. Sister. All life shares a sea deep within its soul. I think... that's where I came from. Your heart is connected to that sea as well. You're truly alive now. From now on, we'll always be together. Sister, I'm coming home. Welcome back.
I feel... tired. I haven't felt this way in a while. When I went back to being a machine, I no longer required sleep. Hmm. It seems our guest has safely reached her destination. Her answer to life. Answer to life? Please, tell me. Now that I've found my answer, is my life at its end? End? What? Huh? What do you mean? I guess. It's strange. I feel so satisfied. I guess you... You're not... No! This isn't happening! I think... I'm finally at peace with losing him. Odd. For some reason... The tears are only now coming. I should have attended his farewell. I was so foolish, locking myself away. Looking back... I remember that Metis would cry. To think I had discarded such a basic emotion. You've completed your ordeal splendidly. And come to the end of your journey. And now, we must part. It can't be serious. I guess... It's all right. Don't... Worry. No! I guess... You know? I think you can spread the message now. Not with words alone, but with everyone's passion and strength. If you could do that, he wouldn't have to bear the burden all alone, would he? And that's the weather. At the tone, the time will be midnight. Good evening. It is now April 1st. Here's a recap of the news from the 31st. Hmm? What? When did we fall asleep? John? Aren't we... Aren't we gathered around the entrance? Talking about some kind of key? That's right. But it looks like everything's okay now. The outside world is back to normal. We can leave any time. So, the abyss of time has disappeared. April 1st! So, that means we're saved, right? Woohoo! About damn time! I guess, wake up! We're safe! Come on, I guess. Wait a second. After we opened the front door with the key, we were brought to that room that looked like an elevator. 
And while we were there, I guess son. Hey, I guess. How long are you gonna lie there? Wake up. I guess. Mitsuru Senpai. It's too early to reach any conclusions. Let's carry her to her room for now. We can keep an eye on her condition with the equipment there. Damn it. She's not waking up. How's it look, Fuka? Don't worry. I've used the system a number of times before. The equipment should be set up already, so... <sighs> if only it wasn't so late at night. I'm sorry. I tried contacting the lab, but I doubt they'll be sending anyone right away. Well, I've almost got the Bioscan unit online. Is that it? Yes! Her vital signs are up on screen. Let's see. Oh, no. This is awful. Did you find something? Her synaptic circuits, they're completely burned out. There was some sort of massive system overload that took her way over capacity. It's probably related to her new ability to use multiple personas. Burned out? But they can fix her, right? It's easy to replace the faulty parts, but she'll no longer be the Igus we all know. No. I guess. Hmm? Did you call me? I guess. Um, has something happened? Jeez, you had us worried sick, sleepyhead. You took so long to wake up, we thought you might have died. But how could this be? Her synaptic circuit shouldn't even be receiving power. It's as if... She's really alive. Oh, I'm so sorry to have worried you all. I was having a dream. The first one in some time. Memories of time I spent with everyone and... Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. Oh, it's nothing. Sorrowful partings only show us the weight of our relationships. But the joy of living comes from those who care about you. I'm... a very lucky person. I guess... We were so close to each other. We suffered over the same things. <laughs> I feel pretty stupid now. I wonder why we both thought we were all alone. I guess we're more like each other than we thought. Whew. Well, looks like it all came out okay. Man, I was pretty freaked out there for a while. But I think we got our happy ending. Yeah, looks that way. <sighs> I'm bushed. Oh, crap. Now that we're not in any danger, I'm about to pass out. Maybe I can sleep standing up. Oh, Junpei-kun. Very well. Let's go back to our rooms and rest until morning. If there's anything left to do... Hmm. Actually, there is one thing I'd like to announce. about collecting everyone's evoker. I'm thinking of calling that off.
Our ordeal has given me a lot of food for thought. My own way of running away may have been to try to collect these and put them away, forever. But even if there are no shadows left, the battle against ourselves is ongoing. Each of you should hold on to yours. Until the day when everyone can change, right? Let's see, I already shipped my large luggage. Did I forget anything? That was my contact. The car they sent for us will arrive shortly. What, are you taking everyone else along for the ride too? Their new dorms are on the way to the lab. It'll be a quick stop. I thought we might as well travel together, since we're all here. It would be dull otherwise. Where on earth is Junpei? I told him not to be late. <laughs> Junpei-kun? Ah, let him be. He's probably trying to carry everything at once. Same thing happened last year. Oh, but that sounded like it really hurt. I hope no one saw that. <laughs> Are you all right? Jeez, what a way to end this. Ah, there's our ride. Well then, shall we be off? Um... I actually have a favor to ask. What is it? I know it might not be possible because it's so sudden, but is there some way that I can back out of returning to the lab? Before, I thought there was nothing left for me to protect, no reason to live. But now that I see otherwise, I'd like to go back to school with Yukari-san and everyone. I guess. I want to continue to experience new things with you all. Is it too late? Hmm. Even if I wanted to place you back in, I'm no longer involved with Gekukan High. Lady Mitsuru, your transportation has arrived. Thank you. Senpai! I'm sorry for the sudden change in plans, but our destination is now the school's Tatsumi Hall. The transfer to the lab has been cancelled. Then, Senpai? Now that's more like it. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be able to stay with you all. I'm still kind of sad to leave this place behind. Yes, but change is part of life. Hey, I guess if you're going to live in the dorms, you want to be my roommate? Huh? I mean, you need one, right? But hey, no need to be so formal. We are friends, aren't we? Yeah, you're right.
Thank you.